talk about two subjects. The second one deals with the burglary of a gun store last night. And that ties in, to, as far as I'm concerned, directly to creating an environment that ends up, as you saw this morning, as it broke all of our hearts with the Orlando police officer that was shot and killed in the line of duty by a felon who had a gun, and you certainly know that he didn't buy that gun legally, and then the Orange County deputy who died in the vehicle crash trying to assist. So we're going to talk about that, at the last one, but our hearts and prayers go out to the men and women of Orlando Police Department and Orange County Sheriff's Office and their friends and relatives and all law enforcement officers because, once again, we all stand in the gap between good and evil, and there are mean people out there that want to hurt law enforcement officers, but make no mistake, they'll hurt you too, given the opportunity. The reason they don't have the opportunity to hurt you is because there is a law enforcement officer protecting you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So with that, I will get into the details in a minute, but I want to show you a fellow that I first introduced you to five years ago. This is Christopher Loban. Christopher Loban was a citizen and a resident of Mullaloo, Australia. And today he's still a citizen of Australia, but he's a resident of the Polk County Jail in Bartow, Florida. We say over and over that we will go to the ends of the earth to protect our children from child predators child abusers, child molesters, and Christopher Loban is an example of that. I want to thank the U.S. Marshals for extraditing him for us. He fought extradition for five and a half years before he was brought back to the county jail in Bartow, Florida. Interestingly enough, Christopher Loban had never been to the United States. Welcome to the United States, Christopher Loban. I hope your view in the county jail is everything you thought the United States would be. It is for you. And here's what happened. He befriended Robin Pagoria on a sexually perverse account. And as a result of that, it was a dominant submissive environment where Christopher Loban was the dominant. He created this re relationship with uh, Robin Pagoria and taught her how to make a whipping bench. And he was the dominant and online from Australia to Polk County, Florida, he would take control and she would play the role as the submissive. Well, there were two children between the ages of 12 to 16 years of age that Robin Pagoria had access to. And as a result of that, he directed that these children would be stripped nude, handcuffed and tied and bent over this whipping bench, and then beaten. And that's exactly what happened. This allegedly occurred because the children would just be defiant. So this person would take these children, bend them over this bench, tie them up, and spank them, and spank them, and then beat them, and beat them. It was not uncommon for Robin to give up to 50 lashes to these young ladies. 50 lashes. For what? For being disrespectful. For what? Whatever the figment of her imagination was at the time. Subsequent to that, then she would stand them in the corner for 20 or 30 minutes. This happened more on more than one occasion. But what occurred is these two children 
that Robin had access to drew the line in the sand when Robin, with her iPhone, videoed this. These children nude, being whipped, and sent it to Christopher Loban. Christopher would then critique and would say things such as, I thought you could do better than that. You disappointed me. Let me give you some of the quotes. It just, don't disappoint me. Don't disappoint me again. I'm very annoyed. I thought you understood what I want. And he would specifically direct them how to spank, how to hit, how to deliver the discipline to these children. He referred to them as little brats. He talked in a demeaning fashion that he was in control about these children. He would be the dominant in this dominant submissive environment that occurred. And as a result, he was charged with two life felonies, a 225-year minimum mandatory felonies, with two 15-year felonies, and with two five-year felonies. Robin has taken a plea deal for 20 years in prison, and part of that plea is her agreement to testify against Christopher. She admitted, yes, I did what you saw in those videos. I whipped those children I had access to, and I uploaded it to a server where we know that Christopher Loboom viewed it at least 10 times, was giving critiques and instructions on not only how to build the bench, but once again, how to spank them. It's important to understand that you can't imagine what occurred unless, and you'll never see this, you saw what we saw. If you'd have seen those two young girls that were stripped naked, that were handcuffed over this bench and tied to it, and them deliver, and Robin delivering these strikes 50 times. If you'd have seen that she brought blood and injured them, create, created injuries to them, and then you understand that this is the man that directed it. This is the man that critiqued it. This is the man that ordered it in their little sexually perverted game that they were playing. And she did it. And he thinks for a second, we're not going to do everything we can to make sure the law holds him accountable. He was wrong. The state attorney's office has been a huge help in this because they had to guarantee that they were interested in going for forward in prosecution. We had to deal with the State Department, the Marshals. Chad, who now works for the State Attorney's Office, was a detective for us that originally worked the case, and Brad Copley's prosecuting this case. And we extradited him 10,959 miles with the assistance of the U.S. Marshals. He arrived in Orlando about 7 p.m. on Friday. We attempted an interview with him later that evening. He said he had an attorney. He wanted to speak with him first, and then we put him in the Polk County Jail. We will travel to the ends of the earth if you have anything to do with physically, sexually abusing children, period. Christopher, Welcome to the United States. Welcome to the Polk County Jail.